Hey guys, welcome back to Oregon Bass Fishing. Today we're going to go through the Wilderness Systems Radar 115 and 135. Alright, so I've filmed this now like four times, so hopefully this time it works. Can't get my audio and my video to work, so I'm trying a different camera. <laughs> hopefully it all works out. Uh, we're going to start at the front of this boat. This is the 135. We're going to go from the, the bow to stern, and I'm going to show you everything on it. The 115 is the same boat. There's a few differences. I'll tell you about those as I go through the 135, but I'm not going to pull the other one up here. And then I've got some on-the-water footage at the end. So let's get started up at the front. Okay, so starting at the front here, we've got a molded-in handle. Uh, I like the direction they put this handle. I was not a big fan of the other direction that they put the attack handle. This makes it a lot easier to carry. Um, behind that, we've got a bungee here with a paddle keeper. That uh, keeps your paddle in place if you slide it up in there. And then behind that, we've got a large uh, waterproof hatch here. Um, there is an insert that goes in this hatch. You can put your rods you know, on the inside of your boat using this hatch. I've tried it, so... Uh, pretty nice feature to be able to put your rods inside. Now, basically, from the flex pod forward is one of the main differences in the 115. I'll show you a picture of it here, uh, but basically, it goes from the flex pod to where this bungee is, and that's as, as far as it goes. And there's only an eight-inch circle hatch on that one. So next, we'll move into the cockpit area. This is going to be the exact same on both boats. All right, so up here we've got the flex pod OS system. I'm sure you've seen this before, but this comes out of here. Uh, you've got a transducer mount on the bottom, and then there's a hole through the hole down there uh, for you to run your transducer. Um, you can mount your fish finder to this, the top of this here, or you can, and you can keep your wires and battery on the inside, or you can ditch the whole thing and put a motor drive in there um, to, to use an electric motor on this kayak. Next, we've got something new. We have not seen something like this from Wilderness Systems. This is brand new. This is where the pedal drive will go. Now, if you don't want to use a pedal drive, you can still use this to your advantage. There is a through hole hole here. Through hole hole, that's kind of hard to say. Uh, but basically, you've got a storage compartment on top here. You can open this up, put your battery and wires through there, and run your fish finder off the top of this. Now, what that does is open up the other spot for a motor drive. So you can have a motor drive with a uh, fish finder which is pretty cool now if you run the pedal drive into this when that comes out you can run your fish finder up front so you really got a kayak here that you can pedal paddle or power with a motor drive so behind the pedal drive system you've got a couple new things one is this hatch in the center here uh, they put this nice large square hatch you know it's got a real nice tight fit uh, it is waterproof you can get into the hole down here and you can stand on top of this it's a nice Nice sturdy hatch access there. Uh, also, we've got a couple of little gear pockets on the side here. You can see it's big enough to put your, your pliers or your fish grip or maybe a pack of soft plastics. Uh, pretty nice to be able to throw something you know, at arm's reach and not have to stow it away. It's, it's a nice little feature that they've added. So this is something that's also different with this boat. We've got paddle keepers right here. You can see this little line here. This is where your paddle would stay. And you got a paddle bungee here. We've got two on this boat. One on this side, one on the other side. And the reason for that is we've also got two of these little circle hatch things here. What these are for is to put your rudder control system when you get your pedal or your motor drive. So what this gives you the option to do is to, to switch back and forth, put your pedal on one side, put the the uh, hand control on the other side for the rudder and you don't have to take your bungee off or any of that there's one on the other side as well so you're set up and ready to go um, next behind that we've got the air pro max seat awesome seat it's very comfortable love sitting in this thing all day uh, one thing that is a little different you'll see we've got a quick release here um, so this you know you can loosen this up tighten it up and quick release it a little bit easier to use than this this little turnstile here and one thing you can actually do is leave this looser and put this tight and then that allows you to just flip that up, slide forward or back and cinch it back down. Okay, so another new feature on this boat is we've got this little spot here, this little indentation with a bungee. And uh, it's a pretty cool little spot. You know, you can put an extra motor for your motor drive. You can put a dry bag, your lunch, an extra tackle box, whatever you like. Uh, kind of nice to have something right behind the seat where you can just reach around, not even look, and grab it. 
You will see that on this radar, we've got spots for an Air Pro 3D seat. That's where these little these little double dots are here. That's where the Air Pro 3D seat would bolt in if you wanted to use it. Now the 115 does not have these little spots on it, so that's not an option. Uh, but you can do an Air Pro on this one if you like. Um, you'll also see we've got some tracks here. We had tracks on the other ones in the back, the other boats we've seen, but they haven't been integrated with the bungee system. So you can loosen this up and move it fore and aft however you like. If you want to you know, mess with that a little bit, um, these bungees do come out real easy right here. And then these ones are um, run through a, an eye that's drilled in place. So kind of nice. We've got some tie down spots here, one, two, and three. Uh, if you do want to tie down your, your crate. So looking in the rear tank well, this is quite a bit bigger than the 115. I think the 115 tank well stops probably about here. So you've got a whole nother foot in this 135 to put whatever you want back here. I mean, you could put a dry bag, uh, maybe a fish bag, a cooler, whatever you want. Um, and then you're still going to have room up here for your black pack or for a crate system, whatever you like to use to manage your, st your tackle. Um, back here we've got another handle. This one is this direction, which I actually prefer. You can stand right next to this thing and really grab onto that well, um, and it's, it makes it nice to hold on to. We've also got a spot in the back here for a rudder to, to sit in this little slot here, and then this area back here, this flat spot, is for a power pole micro anchor, or you can do a torpedo motor whatever you want. This is kind of an accessory pad back here. All right, so one other thing I wanted to show you before I show you some on the water footage is the hull of this boat. You know, this is really where this boat stands out, in my opinion, uh, versus the other Wilderness Systems boats and other boats in general, uh, is the hull design. Uh, they're calling this Smart Hull, which is S-M-A-R-T, right? Speed, maneuverability, acceleration, responsiveness, and tracking. So I'll kind of go through that stuff. I mean, you'll see right here that speed, you've got a nice keel line all the way through the entire boat, which is going to give you that speed and tracking, the length of a kayak that you want to get that speed and tracking. Uh, the maneuverability is found in the rocker chime. This whole thing is a big, one big rocker chime, basically makes it sit. You're not sitting on as much water. So when you turn, you turn on a dime. It's, it's really nice. Uh, acceleration. You've got two large pontoons here, which, which, like I said, puts you on less water. So you can get going real quick with that long key line, and, and you really don't feel it. You can see how stable this thing is. You've got two big pontoons here. It's just really a nice hole. I've really been surprised at how much better this, this feels on the water than the attack. I thought it would be pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same boat dimension-wise. Uh, but really this boat is a lot quicker, it's a lot more maneuverable, and I'm really impressed with it. You can see the spots here, you can put a full transducer here, even if you're running like a big total scan transducer, it'll fit right here or here. Uh, and then you've got your pedal drive system here. These screws right here, these are for a brush system that are going to go in place so that you don't have cavitation and bubbling and all that swirling sound underneath your kayak when you're running that pedal drive. Uh, pretty smart design on wilderness systems part. So there's the whole, this is really what I think sets people apart in the kayak world and it's really where wilderness system stands out. Uh, and not a lot of people look at the hole, you know, when you go look at a kayak in the shop, make sure you turn that thing over. If it doesn't look similar to this, you know, you're giving up some of those features that you might not even know. All right guys, so that's the wilderness systems radar series. Uh, I'm really excited about this boat, you guys. I'm getting rid of my attack 140 and I'm picking up a, a radar 135 um, and I'm very excited to fish in this boat this year. I'm blown away at the way that the, the boat feels in the water, the responsiveness. And I'm not just telling you guys that. I really am impressed with this new whole design. Um, so get down to the next adventure, check them out. They've got them in stock right now. You guys can walk in the door and go purchase one today if you'd like. Uh, I'll put their information at the end of this video with an address and all that. Uh, after I do the specifications. Let's jump on the water and I'll show you how easy it was for me to stand on this thing even in high winds and nasty rainy weather today.
All right, it's pretty nasty out here, windy and nasty. But, man, this is, this is nice. Really stable. You know, this feels just like the attack. I would even say, I mean, we'll, we'll see when I stand up, but it feels just like the attack. This is awesome. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely faster than the attack, a lot more responsive. You know, and I'm not going to even compare this to attack because it's not even the same boat. This is a totally different boat. I like how the, the front of the boat is nice and small and compact. I can turn this thing really well. You know, two forward strokes. I mean, I'm fighting wind here, but a couple of back strokes and I'm turned around. You know, I get blown around a little bit. We've got some pretty strong winds today, but. I wouldn't consider that getting blown around very much. It still sits really low like the attack does. I can see where the pedal drive is going to fit perfectly with your feet. So I'm excited about that. Man, nice easy access. I feel like I'm actually sitting a little bit higher in this boat than I have in other boats. I don't know if it really is or if I just feel that way. It feels like the floor is a lot lower in this one. You know, this thing stops really easy. I'm not going to test the tracking because it's so windy. I don't feel like I can do it a good service. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get closer to, to the land over here and do a stand up test and call it good. It really lets me cut through the wind and the waves. I've seen what I need to see. This boat's awesome. This is awesome. Oh yeah, super comfortable. Stand up in that no problem. I'm coming at the shore real hot, so. There's plenty of space for my feet. It's one thing you gotta be careful of on these boats is you gotta remember what it's like to stand in these things all day and you know this looks like it's going to be just fine I mean I'm fighting wind against it standing up no problem wow incredible very impressed very impressed let's see what the 115 rides like okay so honestly I get a little more bow movement left to right when I'm when I'm paddling this thing. But this feels very similar to the 135. This is gonna be a great little boat for small water. Yeah, this thing just really, you can turn this thing like crazy. I mean, look at me. This is gonna be a really fun boat for smaller water. Like, you know, here in Oregon, we got the Umpqua River. John Day, you know, this is going to be an awesome little boat for that kind of water, moving water. Oh man, just awesome, you guys. Easy to stand up in. I'm getting blown all over the place. I feel comfortable. This feels just as good as the, as the 135. I'll tell you what, this thing is responsive. When you're moving around in this thing, I can feel it moving, but... In no way am I uncomfortable. Let's see if I can just land this thing. Awesome. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked this review. Please hit the thumbs up if you did. Comment below if you're excited about this radar series. I will be doing another video series when the uh, pedal drive does come out. You know, I'll, I'll do another video of each one of these with speed and all that stuff uh, once that comes out. It should be sometime in the spring. So I'm um, looking forward to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.